If you've clicked on this link, there's a good chance you may well be attending the APCC conference next Thursday. Um, we thought we'd take this opportunity to just give a little bit of an insight into Danish Consulting and Interim Solutions and, and, and what we're about. So I'm here with Brad. Um, Brad, look, yeah, we put some thought leadership out to this community earlier in the year talking about some of the sort of regulatory compliance themes that we've been seeing from a hiring standpoint. Um, since then, what have been the, the sort of busiest areas that, that you've seen sort of demand for our services come through? Uh, yeah, definitely. I'd, I'd say kind of um, governance, kind of governance-wise, I think has, has been a key trend, obviously, with different kind of regulatory changes um, and developments coming through, different kind of conduct risk uh, and culture projects we've had at some of the, the, the big investment banks and I think the upcoming changes as well, I think that we're, that we're seeing around the kind of Consumer Duty Act and uh, online harms bill, definitely from having conversations with clients is going to be key area for demands uh, as well coming up. Um, financial crime, KYC, AML has, has been by far busiest area, numerous remediation projects I'd say across the big banks, crypto, fintech and, and the occasional uh, kind of AML uh, position on the buy sides. Uh, and finally, as well, I'd say kind of ESG and cyber risk 100% continues to, to massive growth across the market. And actually, from a Danos standpoint, we've invested in those areas and we are, you know, we, we can completely see from the demand we've had that this is only going to increase as well. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Um, but Neil, you, what about from, from, from your perspective, I guess, kind of people, culture wise, trends in the market? What, what, what have you seen? Yeah, it's been, <laughs> it really has been a, a crazy time to be in recruitment over the last sort of 18 months. but. You know, throughout the summer months, um, you know, outside of delivering consulting and interim solutions, you know, lots of the conversations we're having with our customers, um, definitely around um, you know, the global macroeconomic situation. You know, we're we're facing a recession, but but you know, lots of conversations are you know, about being a job-rich recession because uh, demand for for talent continues to to be high, and, and you know, companies are talking to us about how they can not just identify and attract talent, but how they can secure talent. So that's been a, you know, a, a big topic of conversation. I think the second piece, um, you know, we're getting lots of conversations where we're asking for our insight into how companies can structure their sort of DE and I strategies and, and how they can sort of get that balance between positive action without being positively discriminatory. So you know, lots of conversations around that. and. Um, I think the other thing is, uh, you know, the, the returning to work and the hybrid sort of workplace um, continues to be a hot topic. Good question. And despite, I mean, we, you know, lots of press about the four-day week, yeah. but from what I'm seeing, my trains are getting busier again, and a lot of you know, companies, big banks, and the big tech businesses are starting to ask to get their staff back in the offices. So it'd be interesting to see how that pans out. Um, but we'd love to talk to everyone a bit more about that. So if uh, if you see myself or Brad hanging around next Thursday, um, yeah, come and say hello. And if you've got any specific questions about uh, you know, in-demand areas or, or what we're seeing around people and culture, then we'd love to share those viewpoints with you. So hope to see you.